What's up? It's where the keys at. We're back. Brand new show. Since lockdown, we've been back here. So we've got a special, as you can see, we're in a whole new environment. Yep. We've got the regulars here from the top up there. We've got. Yeah, Ray Dot. You know your boy Lee's here. And our special guest yeah. today. Say what's up. What's up? Yeah. So if you don't know, most of our viewers are not from where we're from. This is the legendary Zia. He yeah. is the barber to everyone and, and their kids. Wow. Yeah. And we're in his, his lovely spot today. So Thank you very much. Welcome Zia to the show. Thank you very much. Lovely intro. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So we're going to just talk how we normally talk. Mm. Yeah. There's loads of stuff been happening, but I've got some things to direct to you cool. as well. Because Please. you know, <laughs> you're kind of a figure in the community. Right. Okay. And we talk a lot about community in Oh no, that's fine. Yeah. Supporting the I appreciate it though. You know what I mean? You lot put me up here right now. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> I'm sweating, look. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We've been in a barbershop for like an hour. Mm. My first question is why are you gonna cut these two, man? How are you letting come on the show? You know what? Us? When I see Ray, man, listen, bro. Yeah, I didn't realize. When I saw Ray, man, that's the first thing I said. I said, Ray, how can you do this podcast looking like that? Uh, you know, listen, but really, that makes me look bad. Ray, you make me look bad. It's true. It's true. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not just a client, you're my friend. How can I let my friend look like that on a podcast? Sorry, people, for the way my And even I knew we were doing this, even I trimmed up. Look, I didn't get a haircut, but I trimmed up because I knew. I hear that. That's why I got a house. <laughs> to you as well. It's, it's, the thing is, if you'd have said I would have quickly done it before this. So, are you in your haircut now? Z hooked me up this week nicely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
you already done that. Really <laughs> is that like that black stuff I was asking you about? No, no, no. You know what it is. Oh, Justin Bo. Hair dye. I don't know if you want to spend the money to get the Justin Bo. No, the suit polish will do you, mate. Well, that'll be your that'll be your birthday present and Christmas present every year. But coming up in the barber shop, and obviously you had how long you had your shop for? This one, fourteen years. But you think you lot were there from day one? I wasn't really, but... Well, I was cutting, still. Do you know what? I remember no, when I first still. started cutting the Z, I was cutting my own hair, grade one, and then getting a three pound line up from you. Three pound line up, that sounds like a fucking like roll. Three pound line up, man. Wow, 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 wow. And I look back at them pictures and that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what, the hairline or what? <laughs> what was terrible? It was like a helmet. <laughs> Your hair's one grade all over. Your hair's on that, that's fine. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> yeah. No, but growing up in the barbershop, you must have seen some things, man. Some Listen, stories. I've, I've seen so much stories. Mm-hmm. I've heard so many stuff. I've seen so much drama. I've come across every type of people. You lot know this. Anyway, you lot have seen this. You lot witnessed this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, so many people, like, I was saying to Eli the other day, isn't it? Mm. The fathers now, mm-hmm. like we thought, they will have no hope. So when I see these bad boys, mm-hmm. they used to be, they bring their sons in. Yeah. And I see the way they treat them, the way they talk to them, the way they nurture. Amazing. Do you know what I mean? So credit to them. I I strive, and I've seen say black young men strive from so from what they were to what they are now. Yeah. They've improved. Um, Honestly, it's amazing. Like they, they're a completely different person, and I've witnessed this, and I know, and I deal with these people. Yeah. So, is it, is uh, it hard though? Because you're you're a religious man. Yeah. You got your faith, mm-hmm. your morals, mm. and so I hear some stupidness in the shop every time I come. Yeah. Here. Barber shop, innit? So of all course. Kinds of people of come course. Here. Of course. Yeah. It must be hard to not want to implement some of your thoughts and feelings on people. Surely. I always do. Everyone is my brother and sister in humanity. That's where it starts from. Yeah. So you lot are my brother and sister humanity. So for me to be believing man, I have to love and respect you guys. Mm-hmm. First, do you know what I mean? The thing is, my creator doesn't like want me to, how do I show my creator love? Mm-hmm. By doing service to his people, mm-hmm. to his people, to his creation. So this is how I do it. To the best of my ability, with the ignorance I have, I just try, I keep striving. Do you know what I mean? Of yeah. course, people test you. They will pull you up. Do you know what I mean? But we just have to remember, remember to have faith in the process, yeah. have faith in them principles, mm-hmm. have faith in them fundamentals. But before having faith in it, you have to understand it. You have to know it. You have to seek it. Yeah. But nowadays, there's so much distractions, mm-hmm. right? We get distracted even myself, we all get distracted. So yeah. that's why we need to have a good circle, remind each other. Yeah. Look, come back on track. Do you know what I'm trying to say? There's, there's different paths in there. Yeah. So we have to always try and remember, be conscious which path we want to take. If I know it's beneficial to me and has changed me, yeah. I want to share that with people, but not preach it, but do it in such a way, by example, or just put an argument. Just be caring, yeah. Because I always say, argue. only fools argue. Mm. I don't like to argue. Only fools I've seen you argue here before. Though. I don't argue, I discuss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen you. I've seen you cuss. Yeah, but I cuss in his one thing. I don't argue. You know, I don't see what these two see in the barbers. Listen, they're talking rubbish, man. <laughs> they're lying. Listen, no, when I come in, I don't hear these stupid conversations. Mind you, I'm always like, All right. I'm very with my son. I don't hear you cussing nobody. No. So I'm not, I, I don't see the same thing. It's more the garbage argument. Okay, 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 okay. 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 All, all right, all right. The banter you talk about. I don't argue, yeah. so I know who the cop. You know who the argument is. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to say? Look, man. Yeah. I'm standing here, there's so many people. Next one, one is t- saying next to me, one plus one is three. You think I'm gonna just sit there and take it? I'm gonna have to correct him. Do you know what I mean? I hear it once, twice, third time I'm saying, now listen, it's not three, man, it's two. Then they wanna argue with me. Do you know what I mean? Then the next one come, one plus one is 10. Yeah, yeah. Then I give up, I say, you know what? You look, carry on. Yeah. Because that's easy to have been shops. Of course yeah. it is. Easy. Of course it is. So, um, culture, culture, yeah. Yeah. it's a culture, you know. Is that, Ashraf? Probably, yeah. is, he yeah, is, is that you, Ashraf? Yeah. Do you want to come round the back? I'm sorry, he said you want to be here. He said you want to be here. He wanted to see the naked. Yeah, I know you see it. Has anyone else actually ever got your hair cut anywhere else? 
Um, not by another like not by professional another. shop or a barber. Not 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 essentially. But nah. when I was when we was a kid, we used to get like friends to cut our hairs. You know what I mean? But we never used to get. We never used to go to like what about proper. Why you talk about Jamaica? <laughs> yeah. I used to get my uncle to cut my hair, yeah, and my uncle used to give me the basin cut. You know, everyone yeah. know what a basin cut is, yeah. Uh, no. I when Ash first come over here, yeah, Ash had a blockhead boy. A basin cut boy, he used to just go like this, and he go around with one line, yeah, and he goes all the way around, and that line is just straight all the way around, yeah. and it's no fade, yeah, nothing, just, no fade, just straight. Just straight, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it take two hours. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. You know, you're sitting there on a Saturday. You're balling. You're sitting there. Oh, can, can, can I go play? Shut up. <laughs> no, and I see no different way. I don't see one basic cut. Oh. So, yeah, so I'm going to lie. I actually was here one time, yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> what, in lockdown? I thought it was easy. Now, nah, this is time ago. This is when we were kids. This is easy, yeah? I mean, they kicked you up. Like, hey, I see Zia, that's easy, man. Start on this one. Basically, before you go going out at night, isn't it? Something stupid like that. Nah, we're going out at night. This is long, isn't it? Like this. Uh, yeah, my so, hair is yeah. long, boy. But actually, we're going to start cutting it now. I'm losing it, man. And my dad come in and he had to try and finish it off. Oh. And my dad cussed me up and said, oh. no. Cut the boys hair. Actually, I'm sorry for the time. Everyone must have to cut their own hair in lockdown. Sorry. Oh, the wife don't mind, bro. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be fair, I was like slave, man. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> we, well, I had to get mine cut. Yeah. By Dan. I got Danny to Dan cut Dan mine. You didn't do a bad job, to be fair. Yeah, he didn't do too. Do to be fair, because I had my hair like this, so all it is is just cutting around there. And yeah, and this is one like great these bits, yeah. And then I got my girl to do it once as well. Yeah, that was, I mean, she, I, I she need to do with the size. I was always keeping the top anyway, so, but yeah, now I was touching the But I ain't gonna lie, I was <laughs> missing. <laughs> I'm gonna show Z my pictures online in a minute. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy <laughs> sending me pictures, look at me. Look, look at this. Look at eyes. <laughs> <Isaiah's. laughs> I got, like, like, my wife cut my hair oh, in lockdown, right? Oh, oh that one, yeah, yeah. that one picture. <laughs> 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 wow. uh, Jesus no, that's Christ, mad. that's enough to make so, it. Yeah, you know, you have to now share this with oh, that's mad. Oh, yeah, you got to share this, man. Do you know, I'm actually surprised. And I can't do nothing about Listen, it. Listen, this is the key, man. Where are your fault, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's the government, man. Yeah, it's the government. Yeah, yeah, the government now, we could have done, man. Yeah. We need to find Boris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, is it okay to cheat on your bar? Uh, like, no, hold on, alright, all right, let's reword it, let's reword it, yeah. yeah? Well, do you see it as cheating on your barber? If I come... No, cheat, cheat! Like, I do, I'll, I'll tell you what, the other time, when, no, when he cuts my hair, he goes, who cut your hair? Who <laughs> 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 cut your hair last? Who cut it? <laughs> I said, I no, you go, why? Because this bit, you know, barbers are very technical, aren't they? <laughs> 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 you have the I'm going to say it. Um, nah. Right. No, no, right. So, I don't know, because I know, to, go, to be honest, yeah, I know the nature of you guys. You lot aren't cheaters like that. Do you know what I'm right? If it's desperate measures, you're going somewhere, if I'm busy, you need a haircut. No, I know you lot will do whatever necessary. But I know you guys wouldn't be like, you know what, forget Z, I'm gonna go somewhere else, sports. Do you know what I mean? It's different, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So um I don't see that's cheating anyway. So one one night know. stands are okay, but one night stands are fine, but mm-hmm. you lot all know. Yeah. You just don't you let them listen, you lot know <laughs> who the original is. Yeah. <laughs> standards. Standards. Sorry to you know what I'm saying? So I'ma say it, it come out of my mouth. You lot know. The region. <laughs> yeah, you know already. I'm gonna put my leg down, man. You know, from, <laughs> I mean, you know from when you used to have to cut on your own, yeah. and you yeah. get to the shop and you see 30 man chewing, and you're like, I'm gonna need a whole day, you know, but I need this haircut because if I don't get this haircut, I can't go nowhere. Yeah. Like, I've yeah. got a whole week coming up, That's I need it. this haircut. That's you it. just sit patiently and wait, man. 100%. Yeah, I was the same. Yeah. So, yeah. What, what? And the thing is, why did as because I, I won't go nowhere. Mm. I'm not gonna wear garments and not have a haircut. I'm just gonna just my I'd rather fresh haircut. And look rough, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then wear the sickest clothes and have no haircut. Female don't understand this, yeah. Female mm. don't understand if it's like us getting a haircut is the equivalent of them putting makeup on. Of course, they don't understand that, they don't get it. Like, exactly. why, why are you getting your haircut? No. I feel like a fresh man, yeah. yeah. You yeah. feel fresh, oh, well, you can't feel yeah. exactly, yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. you feel nice, especially when you get that feeling like. 
Do you know what? You know, it's our mojo. It's our mojo, yeah. isn't it? It's part, exactly. of, it's part of our makeup. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> you know, I had a haircut. <laughs> it's that thing because when we were younger, I remember all the white boys used to have curtains and that. Yeah. And like, like, we tried to have little corners. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now, <laughs> no, 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 was fine with you. Let me explain the situation, right? Okay, so uh, white boys my school boys to hang around with like curtains. Yeah, curtains, right? Right, okay. Please stop laughing if you don't tell me. Okay, I didn't feel that. Okay, so I wore plaits, obviously. My dad, adamant, I was not having horse hair in my hair. He's like, if you want plaits, yeah, extension. Yeah. So I relaxed my hair. <laughs> You remember that, yeah? I had to relax my hair, right? When I relaxed my hair, my hair was then too fine to plait. So I had to have the equivalent of curtains and like, had to plait my hair. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. But when the white boys were small, we loved it. <laughs> I had to roll around like this for a couple of months until my hair kind of got a bit thicker and, bit, and longer. So what, this is in high school? Yeah, high school, yeah. yeah. So I didn't know you did. Nah, uh, nah, nah, nah. But why did so, you feel um, that you had to relax it though? Sorry? Why did you feel you had to relax it? You wanted to feel I needed, it. I wanted, because my I hair... Feel, it feels like he's lying a little bit there to me. My hair wasn't long enough. Yeah. And because my dad wanted me to, because I, because I wanted plaits, because everyone else was getting plaits done. I remember seeing Matty Cunningham's ears was down here. Yeah, I'm oh done. Like, I'm <laughs> like, it's only hair, as well, but I was like, I need my hair to get there quick enough. Yeah. But my dad was like, no, you're not having it. So my hair was, <laughs> it weren't growing too far. <laughs> so like, I had to get relaxed. Once I got it relaxed and I done it, had the plaits done, then it started growing longer. So it was all right. But relaxing yeah. don't make your hair grow though, does it? Stretch it out. It's just hard to be me. like the white boy, isn't it? It worked for me. No, it worked for me. No, no, no. It worked for me, okay? It worked for me at the time. See, you already done it. But I never, yeah, I remember teaching. I didn't even know, know what relaxing was. Mm. I, I remember seeing it on people. Yeah. I just, I, don't, I, I didn't know what it was. I went through that experience, man, and like, yeah, man. you know, mum left it on for too long and mm -hmm. hit it. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to run like this. Here I'm like, I'm really hurt. Oh shoot, I left it too long. I have to run upstairs and then get it washed wow. out and everything. Yeah, so, so yeah, I went, I went through that journey, but yeah, it, it, I really want to pass it at the time, so it worked for me at the time. But yeah, I hope no one who went to school with me has photos of my I've got, I've got video, I've got video. Have you got photos? Yeah, no, yeah, sure there is. I, I, I Eli, Eli definitely got yeah. photos. Let's put some up on the picture on the camera yeah, now. Yeah, definitely got photos. But yeah. what I was getting to is, is um, like with races, we used to have very different hairstyles because our hair is mm -hmm. very different, yeah? Even Asian boys' mm -hmm. hair is different to our hair. I remember the slick back kind of thing that some of the boys used to have back when we were younger. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. 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 But now every, it feels like everyone's having the ha same hairstyles. They are. So it's everything globalised now, isn't it? Mm. So even going back, you're saying white people, they don't understand, but this generation, they understand. Yeah. Because yeah. they're getting it now. The Asians, the Blacks, the, everybody, it's a weekly thing. It's, it's the culture now, isn't it? Barber culture. And it's my job, where I look at it as well, yes. You know what I mean? If you was in an entertainment industry, or you're a baller, you could pull off blonde hair and decent. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So yeah, do it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's I just so depending, yeah. do you know what I mean? So I'm going to look out like, as well. I feel like it's not a profession thing. I do feel like... Like Jay-Z, for example, doesn't look right with dreads. He's 50 years old and he's got trying to look like he's some young 20 year old Bob Marley. You're right, you're right. I, I, don't, think that's, right. I don't think you should be 40 years old and, Lauho, and rocking Lao Ho. He, he can do what he wants, he's a billionaire. But if he's very regular degular dude, he can't wear that hairstyle. What, Jay-Z? I don't Jay -Z? think rock borders and part and all that sort of stuff. They can, man. They now you can, but now you're discriminating. Yeah, no, you are. I'm not because, discriminating. because then you gotta be consistent. I'm sorry, you are because yeah. it, listen, it's, it's up to them. It's true. It's it up is up to them. to them, but it's up to them. Yeah. And if if that makes them feel good and happy, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. True. It's true. Listen, I might think, for example, me as a barber, I might like, listen. He's like, you, oh, do you know what I'm hearing? He's like, look, they're paying twelve pounds. They give me 20 pounds now. <laughs> 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 
I can imagine myself being a barber standing, you know, they stand behind you and put their hands on your shoulder to what you're having today. <laughs> I want a borderline. No, 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 no. And no, zero, no. yeah, that look wicked. Yeah. He's, not, he's really told us, you're not going to say. Listen, I'm, apparently I'm a wicked salesman, apparently. It is a bit of sales. Apparently. It is, it is sales. I can never be a barber because I think I'd just be too honest. So you saying I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're not being honest. It's just everyone's got that. Like an asshole's job. He has listen. To I've been in this trade over 22 years. Mm-hmm. Right. You have to be honest, yeah, because otherwise you get found out. <laughs> That's when you come. It's fine. Yeah. But you're in a unique position as a tastemaker, aren't you? As a barber, people mm-hmm. trust what you say. One hundred. I trust you. If you look. Yeah, you know, look in the mirror, look, it looks good. Yeah. Gas people up a bit and they get excited. Yeah. So I feel like if I was a barber, mm. I would I would I would literally say, look man, no. Nah. Alright, okay. Alright, you're a barber, yeah? I'll come to you. Say you like, I want this for my hair. Yeah. You go, no, 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 I got I want that man. I'm yeah. paying you, give me, give me that. Then you give it to me. I'll say no, and you gave me what you want. But you haven't made me feel good. Yeah. You gave me what you want. Mm-hmm. You didn't give me what I want. Yeah. You didn't give me that mojo. Yeah. And I feel f- that good. Yeah. You make me feel alright. I don't want to feel alright. I want to feel. Yeah. But then so, if you gas so, me up and I post it on Facebook and people laugh yeah, at me, then I tell you something. That's even worse. Gas is within. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. It's within. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. You know, <laughs> you know <laughs> gas is within. Gas is within. It's a hard listen. job, isn't it? I don't feel like No, it's not. It. No, no, no. Like I said, 22 years in the game, I understand. That. I know. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like your field, you know your field. Yeah, mm. for me, Correct. my objective is to make you feel good. 